Meiji is, what can I say, it's the Godzilla of sushi places. When, when you go there, it, what makes, when you first go there, you, you don't even know you're there because they don't even have a sign that says their, their name, Meiji. So you're yeah. like, am I at the right place? Mm -hmm. the, once you enter it, very hip, very cool, very relaxing atmosphere. And then you finally get to taste everything from the appetizers to the maki rolls and to the dessert. And wow, it will just blow you away when you finally go there. Love sushi restaurants, but I had a very average time at Meiji. Um, I really, I think you have to judge a sushi restaurant by the fish. I think they have mm -hmm. some innovative rolls, but I ordered primarily nigiri, which is just okay. the fish with the rice. I had the super white, um, the tamago, which is the sweet egg, which I don't know that much about sushi, but from what I've heard, that's the way in Japan they sort of decide whether a sushi chef knows what he's doing or not. When you judge a sushi place, you got to judge something, uh, what makes them different, it's the maki rolls. Yeah, the maki was when, good. When you go to sushi, everyone, if, and, it's a, and if it's a top-notch sushi place, you're basically getting the same kind of fish, good quality fish, mm -hmm. and basically the rice, and you have the sushi. So there's really nothing much to compare, <laughs> unless it's low-level fish. Then okay. you're like, yeah, this smells fishy. <laughs> you don't want right? it to yeah. smell but fishy. But with the maki roll, they have like a, their own signature maki roll. There's eight of them. Yeah. And this is, you can't find anything like this mm -hmm. in, in any other sushi place. And not only do they have the signature maki rolls, they also have the regular, you know, about 10 to 12 different regular maki rolls that you can get. Mm -hmm. You know, your Philly Crunch. Philly Crunch shogun. was so good. The, the other sushi wasn't, you know, it was it was a little average, but that Philadelphia Crunch was really, really good. It had that, that bite, and it was like, oh, this is such a surprise. That it was crunchiness. delicious. Like, that crunchiness oh, is I'm going to order that again. I mean, the customer service was really, really good. And I noticed that in front of us, there was a sushi bar. They had all of these questions. And there was one gentleman at the end that he was preparing the sushi. And he was the one that was explaining to them, OK, this is what we're doing now. But the rest of the chefs were very, very quiet. And they were preparing the sushi. I thought that was excellent. And I think that was one of the things that really stood out to me. I think sort of, you know, like Edward said, sushi is sushi. But I'd have to disagree with that because I think there are you know, grades of sushi. They probably didn't have as many makis as I had individual pieces, because to me, <laughs> that's where you can really taste the fish. Uh, without a doubt, best uh, sushi place in Chicago. If you're gonna go there, what makes them unique? Signature makis. I agree with that. That Philadelphia Crunch maki was absolutely phenomenal. I have to disagree. I think in my neighborhood alone, Bob San, Coast, Marai, Katsu, I can think of a number of places that I would rather go than Meiji for sushi. Mm -hmm.